Hello? It's February 6th, and I'm going to tell you about the main military news in Ukraine. The Ukrainian armed forces have made progress in advancing southwest of Avdiivka, in particular northeast of Nevelskaya SW. Fighting is currently active in the following areas. Northwest off Avdiivka near Novobak Mutivka and Stepov. Toad west of Avdiivka near Tonenk and Severn. Southwest of Avdiivka near Pervomaisk and Nevelsk. Biden now, in his yellow and blue called on Congress to pass an aid package for Ukraine. Why? If the U.S. Congress does not vote, it will help Russian dictator Putin. Biden will veto bill to aid Israel without Ukraine if approved by Congress White House. The president favors a broader bill that provides aid to Ukraine and Israel, as well as funding to strengthen U.S. border security. House Republican leaders say they will reject the Senate's bipartisan bill and vote only for aid to Israel. The United States plans to double the production of artillery shells for delivery to Ukraine, Defense One reports, citing Doug Bush, chief of the U.S. Army's Procurement Department. According to him, the production of 155 mm artillery shells in the United States should increase from 28,000 to about 37,000 in April and about 60,000 in October this year. According to the publication, Ukraine produces about 2,000 shells a day while Russia produces 10,000. The first tranche of the 50 billion euro program will be dispersed to Ukraine in March the head of the European Commission. The EU will continue to support its future member, Ursula von der Leyen said. Russia spent $1.8 billion on Iranian. Shahid's hackers hacked the servers of an Iranian company. A group of hackers from Prana Network has hacked into the mail servers of the Iranian company IRGC Sahara Thunder, which contained an array of data on the production of Shahid-136. Iran announced a starting price of 23 million rubles per unit. In the course of negotiations, an agreement was reached at the level of 12 million rubles per board for an order of 6,000 units, or 18 million rubles for an order of 2,000 units. The total price of the production contract, including the transfer of technology, equipment, 6,000 UAV kits, and software, is 108.5 billion rubles. Rashis paid off Iran in gold. The Russians are now conducting operations that are more or less tactical preparations for the start of the spring offensive, the former Czech chief of general staff said. According to some estimates, they have up to 60,000 soldiers and equipment ready. Ukrainians will have to do something. And it needs to be decided now, he said. France may transfer Mirage 2000D fighter jets to Ukraine. This issue will be discussed during Macron's next visit to Kiev Intelligence Online. Russia's weekly oil refining output fell to the lowest level in almost two months, Bloomberg reports. The reason was the shutdown of two major refineries after Ukrainian drone strikes. The current situation in Avdiivka. 800 meters remain to the Ukrainian road of life, through which ammunition is delivered and the wounded are evacuated. The Russians control about 15 to 20 percent of the city. That was all the main military news from Ukraine. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest military news from Ukraine. Goodbye.